Hello, Math 8 students. This is a lesson on orientation preservation through transformations. To get started, we're going to review our three rigid transformations. We start with a translation, also known as a slide. In a translation, we take an object and we sim simply slide it to its new position. Next, we have a reflection. A reflection is known as a flip, where an object is flipped over a specific line. That line is known as the line of reflection. We also have rotation. Rotations are also known as twists, turns, or spins, where a figure is twisted around a center of rotation into a new position. Now that we have reviewed our transformations, let's talk about orientation. Orientation refers to the order of the pieces that make up a figure. For example, we have triangle ABC here. It's called triangle ABC because we have the vertices labeled A, B, and C. Notice that we also have our sides labeled X, Y, and Z, but the triangle is named according to the vertices. Orientation refers to the fact that I can go around this triangle in a clockwise motion. I'm going to start here at vertex A, and when I move from vertex A going clockwise, I encounter side X. Continuing on in a clockwise direction, I now hit vertex B, continuing on clockwise. I now hit side Y, continuing to vertex C, then to side Z, and then finally back to vertex A. So the orientation refers to the order that we're going to encounter each of these pieces that make up the triangle on our way going clockwise. You could also refer to it going counterclockwise, but I don't want to confuse you, so I'm just going to stick to looking at these objects clockwise. It doesn't matter where we start. If I started in a new place, maybe side Y, then again continuing clockwise, after Y always comes vertex C, and after vertex C always comes side Z. So it doesn't matter where I decided to start, I'm always going to be going in this order right here. Okay, now some people mistakenly think of orientation as the direction that an object is facing, and that's not the case, so don't be one of those people. I'm going to go over this common mistake and misconception so that you yourself don't make it. Um, some people who do believe this and who make this mistake think that A is always going to be on top and vertex B is always going to be here on the right. But again, that's just not the case. That's not what orientation really refers to. It's about the order of the pieces in a figure. Now that we've talked about orientation, let's talk about preservation of orientation. In preservation of orientation, we're talking about how the order of the pieces in a figure doesn't change even after a transformation. So here we go A to X to B to Y to C to Z back to A. When I do a transformation, if preservation of orientation has occurred, or in other words, if the orientation is preserved, then I'm still going to be able to go A to X to B to Y to C to Z and back to A. So some of our transformations preserve orientation and some of them do not. Which ones do you think preserve orientation? and which ones do not preserve the orientation. I want you to think about that. Pause the video now and write down your answer. Include any thoughts that you think or that led to your decision. All right, let's continue. We're first going to take a look at translation, or in other words, a slide. Remember, we're simply taking our figure and sliding it into its new position. Remembering that our original figure goes A to X to B to Y to C to Z and back to A, when I translate this figure and slide it to a new position, I've now relabeled it A prime, B prime, C prime, and sides X prime, Y prime, Z prime. Understand again that notation. That means it is this figure, but it's that figure that's been translated. So I can't continue to call it A because it does get to be confusing. So in our original figure, remember our order as we moved clockwise, let's check our new figure, the image, and the, check that order. A prime goes to X prime, to B prime, 
to Y prime, to C prime, to Z prime, and back to A prime. So going in that clockwise motion, I still went in the exact same order. So we would say that a translation does preserve orientation. Let's take a look at our next transformation, a reflection. Remember that a reflection is a flip over a reflecting line. Now because of the technology that I have available to me, it's not going to be uh, perfectly done flipping over a line, but you'll get the idea. I'm going to take this object and I do have to use some tools here that you can't see. Oh, it's showing up there. We are going to flip it horizontally and so you can see that now it's like I reflected it over a line right about here. Okay, let's take a look at the orientation and see if it's preserved. Remember A to X to B to Y to C to Z to A. That should be the order that we're looking for. Now let's go clockwise. Let's start at A and it looks like I'm going from A to Z, then to C, then to Y, B, X, and back to A. So we should have gone A, X, B, Y and we went A, Z, C, Y. So the order was not preserved, therefore orientation was not preserved. Okay, maybe that one was a fluke. Maybe if I reflect it a different way, it'll preserve the orientation. We talked last time about reflecting over the y-axis and reflecting over the x-axis. So let's reflect it a different way and see if that preserves the orientation. Here's my triangle ABC, remember AX, BY, CZA. This time I'm going to take it and I am going to flip it or reflect it a different way. I'm just going to move it down here. Again, that would mean that we've got a reflection line that's about right here. Okay. Now remember AX, BY, CZA is the goal. Let's start down here at A. A goes to Z, C, Y, B, X if I'm going in that clockwise motion. The goal is AXBY and I went AZCY. So again, we're seeing one more time that the orientation is not preserved in a reflection. Let's take a look at our final transformation, rotation. Remember that a rotation is a spin, twist, or a turn. So we know our goal, AXBY, CZA. Let's perform a rotation. Now again, that center of rotation is going to be somewhere here in the middle. I'm just going to move it so that we can compare though. And again, the goal AX, BY, CZA, start at A, go clockwise, X, B, Y, C, Z, A, just like our goal is. So even though I started at A and it was here on the top, and now I'm starting at A and it's here on the bottom, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter with orientation preservation. We're talking about the order of those pieces. And A still goes to X and then to B and then to Y when I'm going clockwise. So yes, a rotation does preserve orientation. So how did you do? Did you guess correctly? Here's our summary. A translation, yes, it does preserve orientation. A reflection does not preserve orientation, but a rotation does preserve orientation. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.